is all messed up. Okay, we got a good one today. Uh, we want to divide polynomials, and we have two different ways we can do this. One way is long, and one way is synthetic. Yeah, that's actually what they're called. I don't know where I'm going with this. This is the worst intro. Let's just do math. All right, let's do this uh, long division way. So the basic idea is you take your uh, longer of the two polynomials and put that inside your division house. This is a bad line. I shouldn't even say the longer of the two. It's just the first of the two, right? Because that's how division works, top, in, bottom, out. Uh, x minus 5 on the outside. OK, so since I have two terms on the outside, I'm going to go two terms at a time on the inside here. OK, now here's the trick. I want to know, and I'm really only focused on the x here. So I say, what would I have to multiply x by to get me to x squared? Or what's x squared divided by x? Either way, we get, we get x, OK? x squared divided by x is x, or x times x is x squared. And then we, we do division like you would with regular old numbers. So I'm going to multiply whatever's up here by everything on the outside. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. And then you subtract, OK? So be careful when you subtract here. Like x squared minus x squared, that cancels out. That's important. That's, that's the whole reason why we do this. We want, we want these terms to cancel out one by one. OK? So then I have 3 minus negative 5x. So 3 minus negative 5 is the same as 3 plus 5. So this becomes 8x. OK? And then I move on. So I bring down my negative 40. Don't be fooled, because I put those parentheses there. This is indeed negative 40 here, go away, go away parentheses. We don't need to write here. Okay. All right, and then we just start all over again. So I'd say, what's 8x divided by x, or x times what is 8x, and we would get uh, positive 8. So we put plus 8 up here. And now, this is what we're looking for. We don't want any remainders, because that makes the whole thing more difficult. And if your teacher hasn't said anything about remainders yet, don't even worry about it. So when we work this out, we should have nothing left over at the end. So 8 times x is 8x. Eight, 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. That's perfect. Everything cancels out. There's no remainder. This becomes our answer. Okay. So x squared plus 3x minus 40 divided by x minus 5 is x plus 8. Okay. This is long division. It's the actual name of it. Okay, that will always work. It's just, it's kind of a lot of writing. Okay, so there's another way we can do this. Looks totally different, but does essentially the same work. It's called, and I will never spell this correctly, S-Y-N, synthetic division. Okay. So here's what we do, step by step. Instead of making a regular division house, we're going to make it upside down. I know, this is weird already. Trust me, this is, this is going to be good. Once you figure this out, you're going to be like, dude, why would I ever do long division? Okay, up here, I'm going to write my x squared plus 3x minus 40, but I'm only going to put the coefficients. So instead of putting x squared, I'm just going to put 1. Because it's 1x squared, so I put a 1. Uh, then I'm going to put a 3, because that's the coefficient of the x. And then negative 40 is just negative 40. Okay. On the outside here, I'm going to take the opposite of whatever, let's get rid of this one. Whatever the number is here that I'm dividing by. So since this says x minus 5, I'm going to put positive 5 over here. So it's always the opposite. If this is minus something, you put positive. If this was x plus something, you'd put negative. Okay, that's our setup. Make sure you leave a blank space here because we're going to write in that area above the line and below the line. Okay, 
That's a setup now to go up to the steps. First things first, nice and easy. Take your first coefficient and bring it down. Okay, that's all. And then we're going to, we're gonna multiply five by that first number. So five times one is five. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna bring it up here. So five times one is five. And then I'm gonna take these two numbers here. This is part where it's a little bit different from regular division. Instead of subtracting them, I'm gonna add them and bring it down. So three plus five is eight, okay? And then I repeat the process. And erase these arrows, I don't need them anymore. So we're gonna say, what is five times eight? And that is 40. And again, same as before, since there's no remainder, we shouldn't get any remainders this whole day, right? If you know about remainders, you understand it's a whole separate thing. So every single time you do this, you can check to make sure you have it right because at the end, negative 40 plus 40 is zero. If you get anything other than zero at the end, you made a mistake, okay? Simple as that. Okay, so now what do we do with these numbers here? We just have one, eight, zero. Well, then we put uh, our x's back. So it's, we're gonna drop everything down uh, one power. So instead of starting with x squared, we're just gonna start with x. x, you drop power is just a number, so this just becomes one x plus eight. And then this last number is the remainder, since it's zero, I don't even worry about it. So what am I left with, one x plus eight, or simply just x plus eight. And that is the same answer that we got over here. Okay, little tricky if you've never done it before. Let's try one more. So let's look at number one. You're gonna pause it, try it yourself. Okay, so let's see what we got. So I'm gonna put upside down division house. I'm gonna write down all my coefficients. So x to the third has a coefficient of one, four x squared, so I'm gonna put four minus 27x, so I put minus 27, and then minus 42 all by itself, okay? Then I'm gonna take the opposite sign of what I'm dividing by, put it on the, the far left, so instead of plus seven, I'm gonna put minus seven, okay? Then we just go through one number at a time. So I bring down my one, and then I multiply. Negative seven times one is negative seven. I add these together, four minus seven, is negative three. Then I repeat, negative seven times negative three is positive 21. Uh, negative 27 plus 21 is negative six. And then now here's the important one. I need this last one to equal zero at the end. So negative seven times negative six is positive 42. And negative 42 plus 42 that cancels at zero. That means we did it right. Okay, then I just gotta put my exponents back. So since I started with x to the third, I know my answer, I'm gonna start with x squared, and then this is gonna be x, and then six is just a constant. So my answer should be one x squared minus three x minus six, or simply x squared minus three x minus six. Woo. So once you get in the hang of it, so it's always the same steps every time. Bring it down, multiply, add them together, okay? Multiply, Add them together, bring it down. And then if you do that correctly, you have no remainder at the end, you've got the right answer. And then we'll come back tomorrow and we will explain what to do if you do have a remainder and you'll be ready to go. All right, bye.